In Nahum chapter 2, we're dealing with the destruction of a powerful, powerful city by the name of Nineveh. Nineveh has been the, the key city, the headquarters of the Assyrian Empire, which has been, well, it's been one of Israel's greatest enemies over and over again, destroying Israel. And now God decides, finally, he's going to deal with Nineveh. Listen to what it says. He who scatters has come up before your face. Man the fort, watch the road, strengthen your flanks, fortify your power mightily. God is saying through the prophet Nahum, Nineveh, you're in for a battle and God is coming against you. And it reminds me of that passage of scripture. Maybe you remember it. I'm sure you've heard it. If God be for us, who can be against us? Well, flip that over backwards. If God be against us, who can be for us? And that's what's happening to Nineveh. Nineveh, which is now modern day Iraq, is about to be leveled by the Lord himself. They have attacked his people over and over again. So here's what the Lord says, for the Lord will restore the excellence of Jacob. So this whole chapter has to do with God defending his people, standing up for them, finally going to battle for them. And as you traffic through it, as you read through it, man, it's, it's kind of a bloody chapter. It even says things like, the shields of the mighty men are made red. The valiant men are in scarlet. The chariots come with flaming torches. And it reminds me of, of the Lord stands for his people. There, there may be times when they're defeated. You go back to the times of Jesus and it, it looked like, you know, Jesus is being crucified. His, his men are being martyred and it just looks horrendous. But in the end, God raises up a mighty church. And here we are today. And it looks crazy in our world, like the enemy's winning. But please listen, God will restore his kingdom here on earth one day. And just like he takes out Nineveh, just, just like God finally says, okay, enough is enough. I think we live in a time where perhaps God is looking and saying, hey, enough is enough. And one day he will come again and he'll restore his kingdom. And we, we, you know, we pray that prayer, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Well, he does that for his people. He takes out Nineveh, and one day he'll restore his kingdom here on earth.